I'm a racer and I know it. I'm a racer and I know it. Hello and welcome, racer fans, to another episode of This Week in Racer Women's Basketball. My name is James Lowry, as always, joined by Coach Rob Cross. Coach, a first for Murray State for the third week in a row. Murray State women's basketball player has been named the Freshman of the Week. Why don't you go ahead and tell us about it? Yeah, I tell you, Kelsey Dirks was named the OVC Freshman of the Week, and that's after Erica Sisk has won the award the past two weeks. So three weeks in a row, a racer has been named Ohio Valley Conference Freshman of the Week. We're excited about that. Uh, the growth that the two of them have shown uh, has been outstanding. You're talking about you know an electric guard with, with tremendous quickness in Erica Sisk and a 6'3 post player that's long and athletic in Kelsey Dirks. And, you know, the sky's the limit for the two of them. Uh, we're looking forward to their growth uh, throughout their career. I know, Coach, your game last week was against Mid-Continent. You guys did very well in that game. Why don't you go ahead and tell us about it? Yeah, I tell you, it was, I was excited with the effort from start to finish from our team. Uh, obviously, you know, we were playing against an NAIA opponent in Mid-Continent, and, uh, you know, we had a certain expectation for what we wanted to see on the floor, which was a tremendous amount of energy and focus from start to finish, uh, no matter the score. Uh, Mid-Continent gives them a lot of credit. They played extremely hard. You know, the game uh, kind of got out of hand from their perspective. It ended up being 110 to 28. Uh, you know, we have a 43-point lead at the half, and what we're talking about at halftime is, hey, you've got to go out and play the game. The game is, is about us getting better. Uh, and you've got a challenge to go out and really respect your opponent enough to play as hard as you can possibly play, no matter the score. Play every possession like it's 0-0 zero, zero, uh, because it's about improving at this time of the year. And you know, To our players' credit, that, that's what they did, and that, that's very difficult to do. Whether you're up 40 or down 40, it's difficult to maintain a, a certain level of focus and intensity, uh, and everybody that got in the game uh, really did that, and that's the biggest thing I was proud of. All right, Coach, now this week is finals week, so there's no games this week, but you will have a home game on Sunday and an away game on the 20th. Uh, why don't you go ahead, we'll actually skip the home game for the moment. Why don't you tell us about that away game on the 20th? Well, I'll tell you, we, we, we hit the road and head to Missouri. Uh, an SEC opponent's going to be very difficult on the road. They've already played two Ohio Valley Conference schools uh, in Southeast Missouri and UT Martin and uh, came away with, with easy victories in both games, so we know our work's cut out for us. Haven't looked at them as much because we have Alabama A&M coming up this Sunday, uh, and that's our focus. But I know uh, they've got a tremendous shooter in Morgan Eye and uh, a lot of other talent on the floor. I, you know, and they're they're a much improved team. And again, an SEC opponent on their floor is certainly going to be a tall task for us. Uh, you know, what we're going to be looking for there is to to play as well as we can play, uh, and hopefully we have a chance to win the ball game at the end. Now, as you mentioned, Coach, your opponent this coming Sunday will be Alabama A&M. The women are kicking off the doubleheader, men playing immediately afterward. Why don't you go ahead and tell us what you're looking for from your team on that day? Well, we've, we've got to continue to improve and get better possession by possession from game to game. So we certainly need to see the same energy and focus that we saw against Mid-Continent the other night. Uh, Coach Warmly is an old friend uh, since she was an assistant at Middle Tennessee when they were in the Ohio Valley Conference. Uh, when I first started coaching uh, here at Murray State a long time ago, uh, I won't date her by, by given <laughs> the year, uh, but you know she's going to have her team well prepared. They're going to play extremely hard, athletic. They have good size. Uh, you know it's a it's a team that we lost to at their place last year. Uh, you know so they certainly will have a certain amount of confidence. It's it's a strange thing right now. They've only played a few ball games to this point. Uh, they're they're one and three but they've played the likes of Kansas, a top 20 team, and Auburn at Auburn. Uh, so, you know, they, they play Memphis on Friday night. Uh, so, you know, we'll get a little bit more idea of what, what they have. But, you know, playing just BCS level opponents, uh, you know, it's hard to say exactly w where they stand at the mid-major level. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. Uh, you know, we certainly don't have the size that a Kansas and an Auburn has and the athletic ability. Uh, but you know, from a preparation standpoint, uh, they've also had about two weeks off since their last game. So it's really unusual at this time of year to play a team who's had such a long break. So, I mean, they could revamp everything. Uh, you know, but what we're concerned about right now is our team getting better and preparing ourselves for Ohio Valley Conference play. So that's our focus is, is on what we do. Uh, we'll cover them today and tomorrow. Uh, you know, we're here in finals, so practice has been light. and. You know, I've been pleased with how our team has practiced this week. Uh, 
a lot of energy when they're in the gym, focused on finals outside of it, uh, really been in a good mood in practice. And, you know, I'm excited about what's going on right now with Racer basketball. And there you have it, Racer fans. Racer women's basketball back in action Sunday, noon game, bit different time. First game of the doubleheader, they'll be playing Alabama A&M. Come out to the CFSB Center and cheer on your racers. Until then, I'm James Lowry, joined by Coach Rob Cross. Thank you for watching, and you have a great day.